انجلترا تستعين بأغنية الأسود الثلاثة في المدرجات طبيعي جدا أن جمهور انجلترا النهاردة كان عامل حالة كان عامل ال... كان عامل حالة كبيرة جدا في المدرجات من 22 سنة كانت الأغنية دي بتتغنى للمنتخب الإنجليزي لكنهم بعد غياب لكن لكن بعد غياب أكتر من فترة استعانوا بيها تاني عشان كده هنروح مع مكالمة مهمة جدا 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 مع روب ماكدونالد اللاعب الإنجليزي السابق علشان يكلمنا على ماتش إنجلترا والسويد مستر روب هاو ار يو؟ I'm fine thank you I've enjoyed a good game Yes of course uh, congratulations for the qualifying it was a hard game But England with Southgate, I think they are different. They have a good squad. They have a promising players. And they qualified to the semi-final after 28 years. Yeah, it's been a long time uh, waiting. I think they've been very fortunate uh, when they lost the game against Belgium that they, uh, they came into the easier group uh, mm. to play in the quarterfinals. Uh, so they forgot Belgium had a tough game. Um, you know, when they had to, uh, to play their quarter-final game. Yes. And, uh, you know, for England, it was, uh, it was just the perfect game to, uh, to get themselves uh, back into the, uh, into the run of things again and win the game, which is important. Yes. Uh, do you think uh, Southgate was controlling the game from the tactic side good? Or do you see that uh, there was uh, a mistake in the England or the English squad during the game, but they qualified by the end of the game. But for the next game, I think they, they need to do more, right? Yeah, I, um, I don't really agree that Deli Ali and Sterling have done well. I think they've been uh, the two players who... Um, in my eyes, are not really firing on all cylinders because if you see that Harry Kane is not getting hardly any chances uh, in the games, yes. um, we need people to go running deep so that uh, Harry Kane can get into positions to, uh, you know, to easily score goals. And I think that's been a big problem. Defensively, I think we're quite good. Uh, remember that the majority of the teams we play against all play with two strikers. Yes. So when we play with three, that's okay. If Brazil were to have come and they play a 4-3-3, then I think uh, we might have a problem with that. So we've been very fortunate and very lucky. And now with, uh, uh, with Croatia, it's, we have an advantage because they've, uh, they've played an extra game uh, today. They have some injuries. Yes. So I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be easier for, uh, for England uh, in the next game. I will translate to the people and I'll be back to you to speak about Croatia okay. and England. Uh, في البداية طبعا مستر روب ماكدونالد واحد من اللعيبة المميزين جدا في الدوري الإنجليزي لعب لعندها كبيرة جدا زي نيوكاسل ولعب في هولندا لفترات طويلة سألته على بعد غياب 28 سنة إنجلترا بتكون في السيمي فاينل قال لي اه طبعا يعني أكيد مبسوط للصعود إنجاز أكيد كبير وتاريخي للمنتخب الإنجليزي سألته على رأيه في مباراة اليوم أمام المنتخب السويدي ولو يعني منتخب السويد بالرغم من انه صعد بس اكيد منتخب انجلترا بالرغم من انه صعد الا ان منتخب انجلترا محتاج انه يعني يشتغل اكتر على نفسه علشان المباراه اللي جايه هتكون صعبه امام المنتخب الكرواتي اتكلم وقال ان دفاعيا منتخب انجلترا منتخب جيد جدا لكن احنا عندنا مشكله في نص الملعب كور مش بتوصل كتير لهادي كين وبالتالي محتاجين ان احنا لعيبه تهاجم او تروح من العمق علشان يصنعوا فرص لهادي كين اكتر من مباراه السويد. مستر روب اي وونت تو توك ابوت Uh, the game in the semi-final between England and Croatia. Croatia played two times in the World Cup, 120 minutes. So I think they do a lot of effort. Uh, and instead, uh, despite England, who played only one game against Colombia, 120 minutes. So do you think that this will affect the Croatian uh, national team against England and England will take it as an advantage uh, in the semi-final? In the semi yeah. They, they, they can lead them to the final? Well, I think 
looking at the goalkeeper, he looks uh, he looks as though he has a serious injury. He, he didn't have any problems with the penalties, uh, but he looked as though he had a real problem with his uh, with his hamstring. Uh, a couple of other players were having cramp in uh, in the legs, and I love Modric. I think he's a great player, mm. uh, but they're just not they're not really creating a lot of chances neither. It's, uh, it's it's very much um, they keep it very tight. They keep it very close, and I think if uh, if England can try and get on the outside with uh, with Trippier and maybe with Ashley Young. And get some good balls into the centre. Yes. Uh, you know, for 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 Harry Kane because he knows uh, Lovren uh, from the Premiership. Yes. Then uh, and with yeah, I think Gareth Southgate will go with exactly the same team again. I think he'll play again with Deli Ali and, uh, and Sterling. And um, but they have to be also every time when the crosses come in, they have to be ready for the second balls. Yes. Um, and I think that's going to be uh, the biggest difference. Um, I think England will uh, benefit more playing against Croatia than uh, Russia. Russia play a really defensive game, and I think England have problems uh, breaking them down. So um, uh, I'm quite pleased that we're going to play uh, Croatia. سألت على رأيه في مباراة إنجلترا والسويد، إنجلترا كرواتيا، كرواتيا. شايف ان كرواتيا هل بعد ما لعبت مباراتين 120 دقيقه ممكن تاثر عليها بدنيا وان منتخب انجلترا لعب مباراه واحده بس 120 دقيقه 120 دقيقه فممكن بدنيا انجلترا تتفوق او يكون حاجه ايجابيه للمنتخب الانجليزي قال ان منتخب انجلترا لازم اكيد يغير من طريقه لعبه في المباراه اللي جايه منتخب كرواتيا منتخب دفاعيا قوي لكن منتخب انجلترا بالسرعات اللي موجوده عنده آه زي طبعا ستيرلينج وزي اشلي يونج يقدر ان هو آه يكسر دفاعات المنتخب الكرواتي والاعتماد على هادي كين قال له هادي كين عنده مباراه خاصه مع لوفرن آه لاعب ليفربول فبالتالي هم عارفين بعض من الدوري الانجليزي لكنه متفائل آه بالمباراه. اوف كورس مستر روب يو ويل واتش ذا جيم اجينست كرواتيا اند يو هوب اوف كورس ذات انجلاند ويل كواليفاي تو ذا فاينل هو do you want to qualify from the other side? Belg Belgium or France? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is a really, really difficult one because um, I think if you look at the, the whole of the World Cup, I think that Belgium and France mm. have been the teams who have a complete team of really good players. Mm. The rest of the teams... Uh, Portugal, you have Cristiano Ronaldo, mm. Argentina, you've got Messi. Uh, if you look at Germany, they have a couple of players who mm. uh, are really well class, but they they don't have a full team of really good players. Mm. France and Belgium do. So, really, it's it's a tough one. I think I think Belgium will beat France. Belgium will beat okay. France. I think mm. Belgium will beat France because they got the momentum now. And uh, they seem to have, with Fellaini on the midfield, yes. they have uh, a little bit more uh, uh, fighting and winning the ball. And Mbappe, it's about time that he starts uh, you know, getting into the games. Griezmann is, is, is top class. Mm. And, um, and I, think, <clears throat> I think when it comes down to you know, the, Belgium, the Belgium team, uh, with so many good players, when you're mm. looking at uh, Hazard, uh, you look at Lakuku, uh, you know, there's just also so many great players as well. So I think, looking at it, I think that Belgium will, will just have that little bit of an edge. I don't think there'll be a, a lot of difference in goals. It could be 3-2, it could be 2-1. Uh, but I, I really think Belgium will, uh, will win it. And hopefully it will be a Belgium uh, England final. طبعا سالته على تتمنى مين لو المنتخب الانجليزي صعد للمباراه النهائيه مين اللي ممكن يكسب ما بين فرنسا وبين بلجيكا قال لي ان المباراه تبقى قويه جدا 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 الفرقتين اللي عندهم كمال في كل الخطوط اللي بيلعبوا بيها في الدفاع وفي الهجوم 
بيتكلم على فرص منتخب بلجيكا اكبر من المنتخب الفرنسي ومتوقع وصول المنتخب البلجيكي للمباراه النهائيه مستر اوف فاينلي اي وونت تو توك اباوت يور بلاير كابتن حازم امام هي واز يور بلاير ان جراف شاب رايت يس اوكي ناو ناو هي از ان تشارج تو تشوز ذا نيو هيد كوتش اوف ذا ايجيبشن ناشونال تيم سو بليز جيف هيم ان ادفايس سو هي كان تشوز فيري جود <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the thing what you always need to uh, ask is uh, what is the DNA from Egyptian football? Yes. I think you really need to know what type of a coach uh, will be good for Egyptian football. Do you want an experienced coach who, um, who obviously uh, knows a lot about football, he knows how to uh, uh, get the discipline and all them type of things? Or do you want a, a, a younger coach who is more innovative yes. and, um, and, and, and more uh, fashionable, uh, which is what is happening nowadays? You know, you've got a lot of coaches with laptop computers. Um, it's, it's different. So I think really they need to have a very good look at uh, you know, who they can, uh, they can have. I remember Ruth Kroll. I think it was Ruth Kroll not... Was he the national team coach of Egypt? Yeah, uh, no, uh, we're talking about the last one or before? Yeah, no, I would call, I think. Now uh, the last one was, was Mr. Hector Cooper. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. So, no, yeah, and we'll, we'll just be for that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And and what nationalities do you think that can uh, be adapted with Egyptian football? Well, if you if you compare to uh, Iran, uh, it's just an example, eh? uh, because I know Carlos Queiroz uh, quite well. Yes. He has uh, he's, he's brought something which. Uh, let's just put it this way. He got the best out of the, the team which Iran had. Mm. Iran is, in my eyes, not so good as the Egyptian uh, mm. teams. Egyptian players are much, much better. Yes. Um, but I think you need uh, possibly yeah, something like a Portuguese, Portuguese. Uh, or a Spanish because you're very technical players. Yes, yes, 100% uh, true. 100% true. Yeah. And I think that would be... Uh, That would be really good. A Dutch coach would also be uh, be really good. But the Dutch have not had the greatest of success in the last uh, in the last year with uh, with coaches in the in the English Premiership and in the German Bundesliga that they've been sacked uh, really quickly. Yes. Um, but you need countries which which really work a lot on the technical side of uh, of the team. Yes. Mr. Rob McDonald, thank you so much for your time and for your effort. And of course, we will have you next time to speak about the semi final between England and Croatia. Thank you so much. كان معانا طبعا مستر روب ماكدونالد لاعب الانجليزي لاعب نيوكاسل ولاعب بي اس في ايندهوفن وكمان كان المدير الفني لفريق دي جراف شاب اللي كان بيلعب له الكابتن حازم امام والسؤال الاخير اللي سالته لي نصيحتك للكابتن حازم امام في اختياره للمدير الفني المصري القادم كونه واحد من اللعيبه اللي اتمرنوا تحت قيادتك اتكلم في نقطتين مهمين جدا 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 اول نقطه طبعا ان هو يكون عنده درايه باللاعب المصري وبالقرى الافريقيه تاني حاجه انه يكون مدرب صغير في السن حط تحتيها مئة ألف خط صغير في السن ده عنده طموح عايز يحقق إنجازات لكن مدير فن كبير في السن خلاص حقق اللي هو عايزه فبالتالي هياخد منتخب مصر كمحطة قلت له ترشح مين من الجنسيات اللي ممكن تكون موجودة في تدريب منتخب مصر قال لي أنا أعتقد أن كبرتغالي أو أسباني هم مدربين بيحبوا يلعبوا كوره مع شخصيه اللاعب المصري اللي بيحب يلعب كوره هتكون متناسقه جدا جدا وكانت مكالمه مهمه جدا جدا لمستر مع مستر روك ماكدونالد واحد من اساطير الكوره الانجليزيه وتابعنا واحنا بنتكلم معاه